everyone, my name is Jenna, but you guys can call me Jen and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to yet another weekend reading vlog. I'm here in my office doing some worky bits. It is about 3.15 and that's about it. <laughs> that's about it, that's all. This weekend, not a whole lot's going on. I don't have like any plans at all. So my one plan is to finish The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin. I am about 40% of the way through. I don't know the page number though. It's like 170 something. And I also started this week, I'm like 50 pages into A Sky Beyond the Storm by Sabah Tahir, the last An Ember in the Ashes book. And I'm so excited to continue with that one, but I'm also terrified because I know it's gonna just rip my heart out. Those are the two books that I have. When I'm done one of them, I'm gonna start reading a book club pick. That my friend picked out for February. We're meeting in the early February, I think the 13th or something. It's exciting because it is a Terry Pratchett book, so it'll be set technically our second Terry Pratchett book for book club because we read uh, Good Omens in like 2019. So I'm excited to do another Terry Pratchett and that we're reading Reaper Man, which is part of the disc world and it's like part of the death narrative, but the thing with Terry Pratchett's books is that the disc world books at least. You don't have to read them in order because they kind of all stand on their own, which is really, really nice. <laughs> we shall see, but that is my plan for this weekend. And I'm also going to be doing a little bit more character work this week on my characters for Project Dream. So I have wrapped up my video that I was doing that is going to be going up this week, Friday for you guys. So that's amazing. I said in that video that all my updates for my character stuff further after that video stopped would be in these. And then like, of course, any other writing stuff that I do. So my original like deadline in my head for when I wanted draft three to be done for Project Dream was the end of January, but since I started on this endeavor for character work, it is already January 22nd and I have not edited past like chapter two or something of the manuscript because I've stopped to do work on my characters. So that deadline's completely like, like it's just gone. It, yeah there's no way because I want to go back in and really do a deep dive and make sure that the scenes that my characters are in are actually they're actually doing what they are supposed to as to the, who they are so that's really fun and I want to work more on my actual writing and like dialogue and making sure that those pieces of my writing really show who these characters are which is something that I learned from a Brandon Sanderson lecture, which is amazing. That's the plan this weekend is to do hopefully three more character interviews. I need to do the next three kids of mine in the books. So I need to do Frankie, Sham, and Steve. And I would also like to do some work on my villain <laughs> because I realized that I should have probably done that. It's the weekend. So once I'm done my work for the day, I think I'm gonna go through maybe one or two more articles that I have here and I'm gonna call it and it's gonna be a great Friday. And I'm hopefully, I think tonight I actually might do one of the character interviews just so I can get it in there. I might do Frankie because they've been sitting in my head a lot. So I think I might do Frankie. I'll catch up with you in a bit. because I have spent the evening just kind of chilling. I finished my work at like four and then I decided to finish a project that I've been working on. And I think it's my favorite one so far because I made Appa. <laughs> He's the incredible best character ever from Avatar The Last Airbender. I say that loving like literally every other character, but like Appa is just the best and I love him. And I love specifically this guy right here. I love him. But yeah, I finished him today. I just put his last little back stripies on. And then I decided to do a character interview for my character Frankie. And they were very great to get into the mindset of and think of and do all the questions for that. Because again, like with Willow, Frankie just opened up doors that I did not realize were there. So I have two more to do for the kids. And then I have a bunch more to do 
especially the big bad. After I finished that, I came downstairs with the purview of reading a little bit more of The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin, and I popped my earphones in and I was listening to the audiobook, and now we're here and it's 1.30 in the morning and I finished it. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this book. Like, it is the weirdest book I've probably ever read, but in the way that I absolutely love it. Like, I had no idea what was going on. It was very weird. It's one of those books that you have to lean into the weirdness because, like, it's just weird. It is so out of this world weird that I think really makes it. Because even though it is so out of this world weird and we're dealing with, ex like, multi-dimensional stuff and this incredible writing that N.K. Jemisin has that just kind of takes you along for a ride that you don't know what's going on, but you're like, I'm I'm cool, I'm here, I don't know what's going on, but I know I'm gonna figure it out. And then it puts you in New York, which is a real life place. I've been to New York. I'm sure that people who actually live in New York probably would absolutely love this because it feels so real, even with all this weird crap happening everywhere. <laughs> this enemy coming in and trying to wreck their lives, like it's, so interesting and the characters in here are so well fleshed out it's so interesting to me to have all these different characters that are the city of new york i love this so much it starts off with new york the city of new york fighting off the enemy and like going into a coma and not being able to be saved by sao paulo who's there to help him become a city then it just breaks off into manhattan and queens and brooklyn and and also Staten Island, who I absolutely hate. She is the worst. The worst. And I hate her so much. Uh, but I think my favorite character in here is actually Vanessa. She's just like a side character who is along for the ride. And I love her so much. She's just fantastic. But oh, this book was so good. I'm gonna have to sleep on the rating and put it through my compile system as I usually do. But it's up there. It's, it's high up in the ratings, you guys. It is so good. And I still don't understand it, but I love it. And I want, I can't wait to see where this series goes. This is only the beginning. I love it. I don't have any plans for tomorrow. So what's tomorrow going to be? Probably more um, character work. Possibly some crocheting at some point. Because I still haven't really even got very far on my actual sweater that I've been working on. I do have the sky beyond the storm. And I have the book club book that I wanted to pick up this week. Catch you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, my lovely friends. It is Saturday and I'm in my office and I'm just about to eat some cereal and drink my coffee and uh, just kind of putter around a bit. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing today. I might do some more character work, as I said. I think I might dive into maybe Sham today or maybe Steven. I don't know, those are the last two kids that I have to do out of like the main group of six. So maybe I can do them both today. Nobody knows, but that's super fun. And then, I'm gonna read something. I don't know what I'm gonna read. I kind of have this like want in me to pick up something other than Sky Beyond the Storm because I'm terrified to read that one because I know it's gonna break my soul. I have that one that I could be reading because I did start it and I also could start reading Reaper Man by Terry Pratchett because that is my book club pick for this month is the book club pick, not my book club pick. My friend picked it. I could read that one. I have the audiobook for that one as well, so maybe maybe I could do that. But yeah, I will keep you guys updated as today goes on. Everything's great, but yeah, I'll catch you with you later.
11.31. I don't know where the past few hours went. I've been reading this book for the past few hours now, and I'm nearly done. But it is Master of One by Jada Jones and Danny Bennett. And it's great. Like, it's pretty good. Like, not blowing me away or anything, but I watched a few booktube videos today. In three of them, this book was mentioned. So I was like, I'm gonna pick it up and read it. And the audiobook is on Scribd, so I was like, yeah, this is great. And it's pretty good so far. I mean, pretty good so far. I've nearly done it. It is very well thought out and plotted and... The characters are pretty fun and it's a really interesting concept and it's giving me a lot of ideas for my own work so that's awesome whatever this has done is it's completely unlocked something in my brain and now i'm back to thinking about project dark which i haven't done for like almost eight nine months now so that's really fun and now i'm getting really excited to work on that again when i'm done my work with project dream of course uh, but yeah project dark very excited about that one. And I have some ideas about the world and the villain that are gonna make things a little bit different. This, this is a story about Rags, who is a thief, and in his world, there, there used to be Fae. There's like this whole land called the Lost Land, I guess, where the Fae used to be. And he's like, everyone in their world has been raised on the idea that Fae were like these super deceptive beings and they had to be defeated because they were gonna fight humanity and whatever. And so at the beginning of this, he is in jail because he's a thief and one of the queen's like sorcerers comes to him and it's like, he just says, I need you for a job and it's like super high tech and you've passed the test or whatever that we put you through, which ended in his arrest. He goes on that and then they end up going to this old, like to the lost lands, which Frags kind of thought were like lands of myth and legend almost, like they had almost reached that level. And they go in and Rags goes into this old, old fey ruins into the deep bowels of it and he has to like pass these tests and it makes me feel like it made me feel like I was listening to like a Dungeons and Dragons like dungeon crawl which was so much fun except it was just rags the whole way through and then when he gets to the certain point he ends up finding this fey man who's been locked in a sleep for like 700 years and his name is Shining Talon and it turns out that Shining Talon is kind of the relic that he needed to unearth and it like has set off this chain of events where they have to go find these other people and these more like more of these relics and just like unearthing all this stuff and politically in this world and it is really quite cool i don't know if this is a series or if this is a standalone i've, I've looked on goodreads and there's nothing to say but this could easily be a series because of the way that the information is laid out in this there's too much story here for just one book for the first time i don't mind reading about fey because you guys know that i'm not like the biggest fan of fey like it's the one creature besides vampires that i will usually avoid in literature because it just doesn't give me any feeling of want it's up there with like angels and stuff like i just don't care about it what i do care about often is magic users and stuff like that so it's not a buzzword for me but i know it is a buzzword for a lot of people but this one gives us the typical fey world that like we've kind of come to know in YA literature and it's turned it on its head which i love i love when books like subvert tropes like that but yeah that's what's been going on, and I've also started my second panel of my sweater, and I realized that this sweater is going to be absolutely massive, and I'm very excited about it. Anyways, that's what's going on. It is Saturday, and tomorrow is Sunday. I have my weekly Skype call with my friends at 11, and other than that, I would like to read Reaper Man by Terry Pratchett. I have the audiobook for this, so that should be quick and easy. I'm hoping to finish Master of One tonight, which shouldn't take me long because it's YA and there's really not that much left to do. I'm on page 413 and there are 531, so just over 100 pages left. I'm sure that it'll go fast. But yeah, that's my plan. I ran the city we became through Copile and in the Copile system they only do like full stars, but this one was like a super high four star and like the number you end up with so I'm, I'm giving it a four and a half star because it is just so good the city we became is impeccable and it's making me want to pick up more sci-fi which is rare but also something that i'm planning on doing in february 
for reading vlog today earlier I did Steven's character interview which I'm really excited about because it went really well I think I again just like with Frankie discovered stuff that I didn't know about them before so Steven is gonna be super fun to play with I think now that I like know these kids and I kind of know like their futures, I think the next step with my character stuff is to really dig into these specific motivations, like what these kids really want in book one, even if it's like just with Abby really what she wants. Like I know her wants and whatever because that drives the plot of the book, but like for example with Abby, she just really wants to kind of blend in because she's a new kid. And she doesn't want to bring that much attention to her because she's dealing with some pretty raw wounds from friends that she had when she was in her, like when she lived in the big city, she calls it, it's Boston. Um, she, cause I'm setting it in uh, New England, but I'm going to try and not use actual place names cause it is a fictional place that, that, that it's set in, obviously, Chestnut Cove. I have to figure that out for my kids, so that'll be fun. I will catch up with you guys tomorrow, hopefully with an update on Master of One. And uh, starting to read Reaper Man by Terry Pratchett. But yeah, it's been a great weekend for reading, guys. It's been great. <laughs>
amazing. It didn't really blow me away, which is really entertaining. So gets 3.5 for me. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's been my weekend so far. Gonna finish this and then I'm gonna go, I don't know, do something creative maybe if my brain is functioning. If not, well, we'll find out what I end up doing. Hey friends, it is one in the morning yet again. We meet again at this friggin' hour of the day. I'm here in bed, just about to go to sleep. <laughs> And uh, I have really nothing to update you guys on other than the fact that I finished Reaper Man, which I, I don't even know how to wrap my mind around. <laughs> this book is so bizarre and it's so weird and twisted and like I get it, but I also like low-key hate it, but also low-key love it. I don't know where I am in my brain with this one, so this one's probably gonna have to sit a little while. And since it is book club pick, I might leave rating it off until I do book club because I find books like this are better when you discuss them with people to like unravel your thoughts and stuff, but weird. <laughs> weird, and I don't know. That's my concluding thoughts on that. And then I went on a multiple hour long, how long was that? Oh God, that was like a six hour TikTok binge. Oh, that's terrible. I thought it was only gonna be like two hours, but nope, I've been on TikTok since about six o'clock. And it's one o'clock in the morning and I stopped watching TikToks at about midnight, so. Ah, God. I now have the uh, I Burn For You Bridgerton song stuck in my head and Wellerman stuck in my head and I fall in love with many people on the internet tonight which is like such a standard for me. I see a beautiful face and I fall in love with them like instantly. Like there's this beautiful plus size girl and she has like the richest red hair that I want and she does like dark academia stuff and she just like some of her TikToks she's done like a gone to like the hills near her and she's like seen some sheepies and I was like oh my god I love her. And then there's this other man that just like every time I see him it reminds me of like it's unlocked something in my heart and I haven't seen him in a while but I did see one of his TikToks today and it like just ripped me open. <laughs> He's so sweet. He does like I found him through doing like a librarian point of view where he's a librarian and you're like a kid there and he's so sweet and oh god <laughs> TikTok you guys it just ruins your life and steals six hours from you. Six hours I could have been doing so much in those six hours, but that's okay. It's Sunday. I'll allow myself that TikTok's bi TikTok binge, <laughs> but I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. I've come up here to just make sure I don't have any like pressing things that I need to do for work because I'm planning on just editing articles this afternoon. That's my plan. I'm gonna go shower, make myself a coffee or something, and then come and sit back here and edit some articles. <laughs> I've also done my to-do list for today. So if you guys don't, like I never have really, really explained how I use my bullet journal other than as like an actual planner. But every day I like to sit and I like to make myself a to-do list. So today, for example, I have work stuff, edit, upload, and schedule vlog for tomorrow. I need to wash my hair. And then I need for my creative work to finish Sham's character interview because I did start that yesterday but I only got two questions in and my brain like didn't want to do it so I need to do that and then I need to figure out every single one of my characters goals and motivations for this specific story and then I need tomorrow to go back into draft three because we're already in the last week of January and I need to do as much work on it as I can before I get into February because February I'm doing a world building exercise. So I need to finish as much character work as I can before I like switch gears and go into something else because I want to make sure that everything is solid. I've also done something new in my bullet journal this year. I don't know if I've ever said this, but since it is, I'm gonna put you down. Since it is a smaller bullet journal than the Leuchtturm ones that I had last year, I have um, gone through and knowing the like the amount of spreads that I use and whatever, have planned every single month that I can fit into here. And I think I can fit up to August, which isn't exactly halfway through the year. So I might go to July and then get a new bullet journal and then do August to December in that one. 
uh, but then I have extra spreads and or extra things in the back that I could use it for for like whatever I want to use it for I think I might do that and then like reshuffle my spreads around and do a little bit more of like creative stuff in here not sure but anyways I've done at the back of this since I have all that space I have done a kind of rough spread I have reading my physical TBR and I'm gonna eventually do a scrapbook page when I get more material and stuff I've written down all of the books that I own on my shelves currently as of January I haven't added any of the hauled books or anything so that I know exactly what I have further in I have done a 2021 video plans because I did want a place where I could just dump all my ideas which is really nice so that if I ever I'm like I don't know what to do this week I have that but I have also <laughs> done a month by month plan for videos. So I have basically up until the end of March planned for video wise. And then I have up until the end of June mostly planned. And then like here and there between um, now and December. This is what I've been doing with my bullet journal, but I wanna do more creative stuff in my bullet journal. So we'll see, we'll see what I end up doing. Yeah, I'm gonna go shower, get breakfast and a coffee and get back to work. Hello my lovely friends, it is me, I am here, back, showered, finished my work day basically, I have about 10 minutes before I have my first student, so, come here to pick up my schedule, but yes, I'm gonna end this vlog here because I've been editing this vlog and it is already quite a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna be, so thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed, this weekend I got so much read, I finished The City We Became, I read the entirety of Master of One, and I read the entirety of Reaper Man, so like, this weekend's reading was great, <laughs> and I'm really proud of myself. For this week, I don't really know how much reading I'm gonna get done. I think I'm gonna take like a kind of a breather with my reading just to like give myself a break and not put myself into a slump by reading so much because that happens. Other than that, I'm excited to see where this last week of January takes me. And I will probably update you guys writing wise and reading wise in my next weekend vlog. So if you are not subscribed, subscribe and you will see all of my wonderful content and join my lovely corner of booktube. But yes, my friends, if you have not yet liked this video, please do. It lets me know you like this kind of content. It makes me happy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in another video soon. Stay kind and keep on reading.